In this video, we're going to show how Kira should be used to slice objects for 3D Potter printers. You should make sure that you have the proper profile installed for your printer, which can be downloaded off our website under our FAQ section. On our FAQ, we have a section called Kira Settings, which has the profiles for all of our printers. In this case, we'll go with our newest model printer on our 10 series. You can then select Cura Profiles and download the correct profile for your size machine. For this example, we'll just use the 10 profile. With the profile downloaded, you then go back to Cura, select File, Open Files, and then navigate to where the profile was saved to. When opening the file, Click Open as Project, but since this profile has already been installed on this computer, we are just going to cancel this process. With the project file open, all the settings for the printer have imported automatically. Now we are going in to bring in an STL file and slice it. This is just a basic cylinder and slices very well with the profile settings. As you see here in preview mode, which can be selected at the top, you can view an animation of how the printer will operate. There should be no crossovers of any kind, and it should look very smooth throughout the whole print. An object that does not slice well with these settings would be a model that has the walls of the object modeled in the STL file. This cylinder is the same size of, as the previous one. However, the walls of the object are properly modeled. When sliced and previewed, you can see that there are artifacts that are incorrect. This is because it is trying to print objects with a five millimeter nozzle that are smaller. In this model, perhaps the wall thickness is only four millimeters. But since we have a five millimeter nozzle and the wall width is set to five millimeters, some sections get printed incorrectly. For these settings, all objects should be solid core. This occurs because of the slicing settings. In the settings, we have a wall count line of one and an infill density of zero. So the infill setting in the center of the object is set to 0% and it only does a singular wall line count on the outside. If you want to print a bottom layer with your object, you can do so by changing the slicing settings. In Kira, there is a section called Bottom Layers. We would recommend printing with three bottom layers to start with. However, the lines may not be close enough to each other depending on your material type. So we are going to change the flow rate to 300%, but we are going to keep the wall flow rate at 100%. So we are only increasing the flow rate of the bottom. As you can see now, the lines are very close together. This will help produce a base that has no cracks in it.